two days before we leave. It is Wednesday, June 8th. I am more or less packed, which feels good. Um, I used some vacuum sealer bags on my normie clothes and my petticoat, hoping that would make a difference. It kind of did. Um, <laughs> so I'm at least down to two, uh, technically three bags, depending on if I want to haul my purse around as its own bag or not. So in my bag I have my petticoat, which is that big white mushy thing there. Sorry for the foot shot. Underneath I have two garment bags with my coordinates for the day. Um, that Tim Burton looking ass bag is my makeup bag. The Ziploc next to it is like brushes and things. The main makeup bag holds more like liquids, so my foundation, my uh, setting sprays, my primer, lip gloss, etc. Whereas the second bag just holds like brushes, powders, and sticks, so like liners, and some of my eyeshadows that I'm packing last minute. Uh, the baby box holds my shoes, as well as like a few random pins and things that I stuffed in there last second. Uh, in the actual flap on top of my luggage case, it's a, it's a pretty decent luggage case. Like, it holds quite a bit, so that's good. Um, I have my Normie clothes vacuum sealed to save room. Uh, under the purse is my under things, so that's why it's sitting there. Because you don't, you don't need to see that. No one needs to see that. But, uh, yeah, uh, luggage weight limit is like 50 pounds. So, hopefully I can stay under that. Uh, pray for me. If not, I do have a girlfriend who's driving um, because she's a crazy person and I have already offered to pay her actual money if she is willing to play Uber for my stuff, for what I buy. So. Alright, so this is our Airbnb in Kansas City, Missouri. Thanks, Mom! <laughs> Hi, Mom! <laughs> yeah, it's, it's actually pretty cute in here. It is pretty cute. Yeah, a lot better than some of the ones we've done for the vampire dinner. Like, they're, yes. they're functional, but at the yeah. same time, I'm like, I kind of... This has, like, lighting. Yeah, like, this Lots is... Lots of couches. Yeah. You got a big-ass bed there. Like, a shit ton of... Closets for reasons. Yeah, yeah, this is really, really nice. But yeah, so tonight we will be leaving for the swap meet shortly. That starts at four. And that'll be something I think we can try and take the streetcar because it's free. Which you can't you can't argue with free, so oh, but yeah, this is yeah, this is cute. And our Airbnb people were nice enough to give us a list of like restaurants and grocery stores in the area. Oh, my feet hurt already. I have discovered though that this, that my luggage is kind of fucked. Like if you look at the wheels of it, oh, they don't, they're, they're sitting off angle. I don't think they're supposed to do that. This suitcase is kind of fucked. Like, maybe I can... I've heard of, like, people who donate luggage, like, to foster kids, because they often don't stay anywhere long enough to get any. So that might be what I do. Like, maybe I'll just get a different big piece of luggage and just donate everything else. Here's all of my hair accessories for the weekend, which, of course, being in my check bag, like, TSA immediately was like, why is there... Just a box full of metal shit. And I was like, look, all right, it's, you don't understand. It's for fashion. But they looked through it and they were fine. So that's what matters. Light actually got in early, which is pretty awesome by like 30 minutes. But then we were like, well, we can't get into the Airbnb until 3 p.m. So what the fuck are we going to do? So we ended up just kind of sitting in a bar. So the Kansas City airport is fucking tiny. Um, compared to Metro, which is tiny compared to Atlanta. 
and um, there was like no restaurants open. Like we stopped at the airport bar because there's always an airport bar. And they, I was like, do you have food, like snacks, anything? They were like, no. And I was like, mm, okay. I mean, it's not like I didn't have almonds on the flight, because I did, but still, come on. Like, throw me a bone. But whatever. So we just had, like, a beer there. Rachel had a glass of wine, and now we're just kind of chilling for a little bit, because I'm not sure how far the place is for the swap meet. So we're going to try and... Oh boy, there's books. We're gonna try and take the streetcar. Kansas City has like free streetcar available, which is really cool. So we're gonna try that. Oh, they have the Da Vinci Code. Rachel has already sprawled, so she's happy. You good? Are you good? You sprawled out? Yes. Okay. Okay. Good. So Rachel's happy. Do your thing, baby. I'll stay out of your way. All right, I'll get my stuff a little bit sorted, see if anything's super wrinkly, unpack some of my uh, vacuum sealed stuff. And I did not get you in the shop, Kim. Like, so. you're trying to get somebody with a fan. I'm like, anyone want to give up their fan today? Because I'm like, right? I looked at them, I was like, oh my God, it's going to be 90. I know. I'm, I'm like, like, I'm going to die. Somebody give up their fan. <laughs> I packed a a bag of vacuum sealed stuff. Here you go, this. Oh, my God, that's so I'm assuming. I'm like, somebody feed me. Say, you know, I'm like, I'm going to say, somebody feed me. Central time, which would be like 8.30 Eastern time. <coughs> and we just woke up like 30 minutes ago, and now we're going to go out into Kansas City, try to find a brunch place. I slept pretty good. But yeah, things are going great so far. The Airbnb is really nice. We've got some coffee going. And yes, yeah, so we're going to go out into Kansas City to forage for sustenance. Ready? Go. Yeah! <laughs> Ready to do battle in the dealer's room. Who will be first? Who will be first to buy out the triple fortune bonnets? <laughs> Coming to the stage, Angelica Kane! Alright, girls had to run back up to the room for a minute. I'm just waiting in the lobby. We're just on our way to the uh, day one sales right now vendor hall we're a little late but we'll get there when we get there I feel really good about this today I got a fan packed my makeup's already half sweating off like I did setting spray it's already sweating off okay so here we are at the swap meet Go ahead and twirl for me, hon. Woo! Gorgeous, I love it. What was your inspiration for the cord? Uh, well, some, like, the, the headdress and the cane and the key itself is just part of an Arcadian gear set. Okay. So it's like, the vibes are like a Russian princess that's presented as a false god by like, the government. Oh yeah. But also just like, what else do I have that's white and gold? Mm -hmm. yeah. As you can see, I'm like, I'm like a trunk to amass accessories like while I'm here to pull it out. Yes, yes. All right. I so if you want, if you want to do a little twirl, get the full effect. Hell yeah, look at that. What was your inspiration for your coordinate? Um, I like black and gold and I like pirates. That, that. That's all you need. That's all you need. I like it. Simple to the point. So yeah, we're just I'm just taking a break. Yeah, I gotta look at them too. Exactly. I can do whatever I want. I just trying to film more, but it's hard. I just I keep getting stopped. Oh yeah, so you not triple fortunes I didn't use my gamble. Look at him. If triple fortune doesn't use one, I don't have to use one. That's fine. But yeah, there's a lot of good stuff here. I've already spent most of my money, so let's go spend more. Yes, let's do that. Well, 
each other for the collaboration. You know, you get the best from my my design work, you get the best from top of books artwork, and the best from makeup and design pattern work. So it really comes together and makes it really pretty wicked. Um, for the other other lines, it, it's hard to say. Um, right now, I have medical melancholy out, which is a big problem with women to pick up because they have to be bullied. All right, uh, I would have taken more footage at the dealer's hall, but I kind of entered a fugue state as soon as I walked in, and I just had to look at everything. So, <laughs> unfortunately, we got there a little late, so I didn't, like, apparently, like, Triple Fortune got wiped out basically immediately, which is not a surprise. Um, but I still managed to get some good stuff. We got some VIP swag. So let me dig down to that for ya. Alright, so we have a Hanui clear file, which is really nice. And this was all the free swag stuff. So this can like, you know, hold your, your tax paperwork, things like that. So that's really cool. Oh, it looks like I got a couple. I haven't looked through this yet, so. Yeah, this is also more Hanui. Nice. Ooh, I like that blue. So this is just really cool, dramatic. So you got a little something for everyone. And then we have a full catalog. Just like showing off some of her past prints. Some photo shoots and things. So that's really cool. What else? More okay, was this this was the Hanley show. I get it. Hanley Diary. Alright. Oh, it's her comics. If Nunu started doing these really cute little comics. Oh, what's this? Huh? Oh, this is this is a business card I got from Natura Doll Design. She was very sweet. I ended up chatting with her for a minute about her dress and her inspiration. She gave me a business card, which I thought was awesome. We also got... Alright, we got a notepad. If you remember, these were also the notepads um, given out with the tea party box that they did during Purgatorio. Sort of helps you plan your coordinates. I think... Oh, yeah, we got a few other things that... It's cool. Whatever. It's it's P for Perry, so it almost feels like a gripper or something on the back side. I don't know. I don't know what it is. It could also be a G, depending on how you read it, so you know, you're welcome. And then we have a little squishy cake keychain charm, a little phone cell charm. I might actually put it on my video camera. Because I think that'd be cute. So that's fun. Got oh okay. Got a bunch of stickers here. Oh yeah. Cause I've been decorating my computer case. These are oil stuff. Oh no, it's a little hint. Oh, it's so cute. Fine, I love him. Got ooh, cappuccino candy. That'll give us just enough energy for the night. All right, so we've got some like kick-ass little stickers here. Fight like a girl, fuck yeah. Sweetheart, this is cool. This is all, it almost feels very Monero, how this stuff. It's not really strictly Lolita. I'm okay, God. Yeah, that's going on the case. Oh, this is cool too. I love it, I love all this art. I got a few smaller stickers. This one, Royal Vegas Retreat. They may be moving their event, the Pretty Princess Club, they may be moving their event to 2024 because um, they're trying to help minimize the spread of COVID. I don't think it's going to happen, guys. I think, I think we're just kind of stuck with it at this point. I got, this was just a free sticker from one of the booths. I just thought it was cute. My... My original intention was to, like, 
kind of do a full scan of like the tables and things and do panning shots. Don't don't mind my crap in the corner. And then do like more one-on-ones. I that did not happen. I walked into the vendor's hall and then I just I just lost control. I don't know. It's because it's like one of the first major events I've gone to during pandemic times, like even bigger than the vampire dinner. So it just, I got caught up in it. I can't remember who the artist was, but she had these free bookmarks. And I was like, you know what? Hell yeah, we like free bookmarks. And I'm so, uh, I'm so sorry to all of the artists. I don't remember because there were so many of you and you all had beautiful things. Someone had, she had great art prints, so she had some Sailor Moon stuff, so of course I had to get a badge pin of my girl, Jupiter. Love that. Love that for me. We had two tarts and a princess. I've actually looked at her stuff before. Um, she's really cool. She's very sweet. And I just, I love her design of her business card, too. I think it's really sharp. Um, I'm a weeb. So I bought some new Dungeons and Dragons dice. I don't know why that is. Don't worry about it. You know what? Don't worry about it. Some custom handmade dice. I was really excited about. I have open for you. We're just carrying this in chips. We've been, we've been living on basically alcohol and snack foods, which is the way. So this has got this is a D100. Uh, this has got embedded flowers in it. What's up, girl? You having some chips? Are you feeling better? Awesome. Do you want to see my Dungeons and Dragons dice? Huh? You want to see my dice that I bought? Oh. That I didn't need? But they were cool, <laughs> so I bought them. What? Yeah. They've got little flowers embedded in them. Where did you buy those? Uh, there was a booth that had... Really? I didn't see. Yeah. yeah. See? You gotta, you gotta walk with me, and then I get all the good booths. It's funny. I went... There was a, there was a booth that was selling guy like that at, um, Asin. Yeah. It's, I guess it's the hot new thing. Mm -hmm. But yeah. It's Elven Garden Dice. I don't remember who sold it. I don't remember anyone that I bought stuff from, except for, like, the people with labeled bags. Everyone else, I'm like, well, I stopped at their booth and they were cool. I would have bought them if I had a new booth yet to be a part of it. Yeah. Sometimes you just you just gotta have the shiny click clacks. You know? I got, let's see, a car thing that's cake scented from Angelic Forest. And a girly gang notepad. I guess she's gonna she has a limited re-release of Girly Gang right now. So I gotta see if she has dark pink in my size. $300. Yeah, but it's cool. I don't know. I want to... So, like, I follow this one retail shop called Vaporwave 95. And they have, like, a hoodie that's really cool. They call it, like, their Neapolitan hoodie. And so it's mismatched, like, pastel yellow, blue, lavender, and pink, and I think mint. So it's, like, all the different parts of it are a different color. And I really think it would be cool to do a moto jacket in those same colors with all the different panels being different pleather colors. So I'm like, that with Girly Gang would be a really cool coordinate. I think. What else did you get? I also don't remember anything I bought. <laughs> it was hours ago. I'm like, I'm like, like, what did I actually buy? <laughs> You got. Oh, that's right! I had to get this pin. Uh, Sad Potato Club. Sad Potato Club. I don't know. What are you doing with your pins? Uh, I have my pin board behind my computer. That's true. Yeah, so Sad Potato Club guy. That was Le Petit Meow, I think. Was it her? No, I think it was Probably. Nice. Sure. We'll, we'll, we'll blame her. We'll blame her until I remember. I'm not going to remember. And then I got, we had to hit up the Lolita Collective because it's a law now. If you go shopping anywhere for Lolita shit, you got to get some Lolita Collective shit. So 
also got sparkly, <laughs> sparkly metamorph ho sticker. Metamore uh, ho. Yeah. Metamore ho. We got a postcard set from Flores Asorium. So there's like, I think, five different postcards in there that I'll have to look through. And then I just got a really pretty simple like coffin necklace. Some flowers on it. Not sure who did. Uh, no, someone else. Because I, I did look at Kay's booth and I was just like, like nothing spoke to me. I'm hoping, I'd like to, if she does another pressed flower run, I want to see if I can commission her to do a thistle. Because I'd like to have a thistle one for my brand. Oh, I did buy bracelets. I think this was like the first shop I stopped at. Yeah, I have to put this on because it matches. Because it's aquatic themed. It'll go with my dress for the 16th anniversary. But I'm not big on the mushroom charm. Like it's kind of shoehorned in, so I might just pop that off, put something else on it. That was cute. I should have bought more stuff. So that, I bought some triple fortune tights. Oh, cool. Some pretty, I think these are, actually, these are, are these full ass tights or OTKs? They might be OTKs. But since Charlotte's setting up that uh, Disney meet at Henry Ford in October, and I want to do Ursula, oh. these have got tentacles on them. So like, I, I think, saw that, but I don't know what character I want to be. It should be Ariel. You could wear your pink one. Your pink one. I did a custom portrait of my cat. Okay, this is part of JBTK. I don't remember what that stands for. Was it? JBTK. They had like a zine that they do. And they had a young lady who's doing uh, custom pet portraits. So I had her do one of Nanner. <laughs> I was like, hey, I might cry when I pick it up. That's normal. Just go with it. She's like, all right. Yeah, no. Okay. All right. Looks like that was Nikki McCoy of Paper Lab Studios. So yeah, she did it in like 30 minutes, too. Like, that's pretty impressive. That's not a lot. that bodice of obsessed. Going to attack her. I love her blouse. And I had to hit up my girl Sweet Mildred, who I love so much. She's doing these new rose hair clips that I really love. And I love it. It's like two of them, too, so you don't have to pick. And they come with these beautiful little dangly beads, which I really like, because I think it's more than just, like, gluing a craft flower onto a hair clip. So it gives it a little bit something extra. It's going to get hopelessly tangled in my hair, but I love it all the same. And I liked this blue because it really matches mermaid princess super well so I'm like I could wear it like right now and be happy and then I got this like this stunning like dusty plum because at the swap meet I bought a triple fortune skirt that I really love and I'm excited about so I think these will go great with that I bought a wooden pin from her last time she had a a stall at our local con that was similar because no one does shit with brown tabbies it's all either gray or orange and so it looked so much like my other cat uh, that I had to buy it. So then she had a different one this time, so I also bought that. So, ooh, this is cool. Free postcard. I really like her stuff. I don't know. Like, I would hang out with her. I think we could be best friends. So, uh, sweet Mildred, if you're somehow watching this, just let me know and we'll hang out. We'll do a collab. I have to clean this shit off my bed so that I can sleep when I come back. Probably. It's fine. It's fine. I thought I would buy more stuff at the swap, which didn't pan out. Like, the the plus size stuff got swept, like, immediately. But I did land this beautiful triple fortune skirt from a young lady for, like, 40 bucks, which, hell of a steal. And I just love it. It's, like, a rich, deep purple. The colors in this room are kind of ass. So, and it's really silky and lightweight, so I think it would look great with like a, a flowy blouse and a vest or a bustier pens. I bought I don't know where it is my 
I, I, this is why I don't travel because my life just kind of becomes chaos. Not, not the most impressive haul. I know. I'm sorry. I. We got there kind of late, unfortunately. So, by the time we got there, like everything was swept. Like I guess one girl who was VIP, like as soon as she got in, because VIPs got in 30 minutes early, she went directly to the Triple Fortune booth and spent like dang near 800 bucks on their bonnets. So I can't compete, I just can't. So I wanna see, I wanna see if B-dubs will show me her earrings. B-dubs, can you show me your origami earrings for YouTube? Yes. Yep. No pressure. Oh God, it's seven o'clock. Shall we go to the good lighting? Is there good lighting? I don't know. Bathroom. It's no longer daylight, which is, it is. It makes sense because it's 7 o'clock. Yeah. I mean, that I'm pretty happy about that. That means that it might start getting cold. Yeah. I wonder if the red spots are from where I broke my powder. Yes. Okay. That makes sense. Yeah. Because I came in here and I looked at it and I was like, huh. Oh, shit. Yeah. Yeah. That would, make, that would do it. Yeah. Maybe that's fine. Otherwise, we're just... Oh God, the chameleon ones are amazing. I know. And this okay, this was Le Petit Meow. Yeah. Oh, they're so cool. What are so those aren't cranes? Are they dragons? The, these look like dragons. Yes. Yeah, I call them dragons. Yep, those are definitely dragons. And yeah. These are like the chameleons, and she said that she liked these because like this looked like a tongue sticking into yeah. your ear. Yeah. I agree, and I like that too. About yeah. It. Very cool. Yeah, and she handful of them herself and then coated them in resin to hold the shape so these weren't like charms that she just bought on mass off ebay or something she actually put in the work yes. so we stand someone who puts in the little details absolutely sure awesome thank you for sharing yes <laughs> I was worried about like for some reason my chief worry was like the battery life and the storage on my phone so about like an extra battery for this and like a couple extra SD cards
Paradiso, let's fuck it up. <laughs> Not you, Rachel. <laughs> hey, oh God, it keeps going. Hey, I'm sweaty. I will live. Hello. Okay. I Mm. <laughs> Don't know why. Can't explain it. It's definitely something a drink has wrapped about. There's no way it happens. Death by passion. I'm sure, and I didn't pack my gimbal. And the back and the tights really and the body, the symphonia feel the whole outfit and coordination with every single detail fits at the perfect place. Please, please put those hands together. I'm not going to stop making that joke. <laughs> Sorry. 
You have a great evening. So I'm just, we're in the Airbnb. I'm just chilling for a minute. Oh God, oh God, is that, I finally bothered to, there we go. Oh, this is, all my close-ups are gonna be great. I might just put a still picture of me instead if they're bad. Um, we just came back from the final tea party. It was, it was pretty emotional. The, they did the OG contest, which was great. And the coordinate contest winner. I in the Paradiso video, I joked about the fuck. I joked about the uh, theme, the Symphonia theme, and I was like, everyone's gonna carry those fucking violin bags. So the winner had a violin bag, which I laughed about. But she also had these tights with music notes on them, which I didn't like. Triple Fortune went around and picked her, and I didn't even realize that. So I. I'm really impressed with how they noticed that detail. Um, I cried. I mean, we all cried a little bit. Poovy uh, went around to the various tables and had everyone sign a card for Suzanne and Kristen, just saying thank you so much, things like that. Um, there was only one card, and it was like a regular size card, and the bitch was full by the time we got to it at our table. So she also threw like a spare menu in there that we were also all signing. We were signing on the front, like everywhere. Um, I had, I joked with her, I was like, well, you should have bought one of those like three foot wide cards. And she was like, well, I wanted to be, <laughs> to be secret. I was like, yeah, you know, there's nothing, nothing weird going on here. Just, you know, three foot tall card that says thank you. Like, you know, I'm just carrying it. It's part of my coordinate. We're just chilling before the after party, which starts at seven. Um, we've kind of toned it down for the after party because uh, it was like 90 fucking four degrees in, in in Kansas City today. It at least was windy and it was kind of overcast the first part of the day, which helped a lot with the heat. But still, the food was really good. Um, I've actually, I've been diagnosed with a gluten intolerance and one of my Airbnb mates um, also has a gluten allergy. And so there was a gluten-free table which was pretty good. It was mostly like light snacky foods. It wasn't like anything really hearty. But they had these really good um, Pepidou pepper poppers, I'm gonna call them, which is very fun and alliterative. So instead of a jalapeno, it's a Pepidou pepper, which is like small and just really bright red. And it almost looked like tomatoes. And I was like, fuck it, I'll deal with a tomato if I can have some cream cheese and bacon. And no, it was really good. It was bright, crunchy very like sweet and spicy and it wasn't too hot like it was just right and it was a good good kick so those were fucking good and of course they ran out of them because everyone was grabbing them and it's like um excuse me gluten people like go have the spinach artichoke puffs i had a spinach i had a couple spinach artichoke puffs because i was kind of hungry i also had like half a scone because you have to i'm so it's it's a law it's legally required um so uh, I've just done a bunch of packing for the night. Um, so that, cause our flight's at noon tomorrow. We have to be out of the Airbnb at 11. Is our flight at noon tomorrow? No, our flight's at 2 p.m. tomorrow, sorry. But we gotta be out of the Airbnb by 11. So I figure we'll probably like rock up to the airport at like noon or 11.30. It'll be like 11.30 because it's only 20 minutes to the airport. So, um, I, I changed for the after party. I was wearing Queen's Coach today. I'm wearing, I just have like this, uh, cool, like skull mesh top that I made from Remnants at Joann's and the Triple Fortune skirt that I bought at the swap meet. So it's like, it's kind of fancy. I'm trying to do, I don't know what I'm trying to do. Um, and I got my, my sweet Mildred flower combs to match it and I'm wearing my Michigan EGL Society pin um because this is comfy but it's still kind of I still want to have a little fun because we went to the VIP party in like jeans and t-shirts and of course everyone else is like in coordinates and I'm just like but 
it worked out. So, God, like, my clothes are, like, half sweat. I've been wearing Meta Bloomers, like, all weekend, and they're, like, a really old pair I've had forever. And they're done. So I may just retire them. Like, I don't even... I. I don't even think I'll make a pattern. I might save the lace. I don't know. I don't know if it's even really worth it, but maybe I will. So I'm going to have to make myself new short white bloomers, which, so that'll be fun. Um, there's some blisters on my toes. My, the tips of my toes hurt. My big toes are sore from banging against the front of my shoes. Um, my calves are probably half stone at this point. Overall, how was the tea party? I I had a great time. I thought it was great, even with having to wear masks as much as possible. Uh, I, I really enjoyed it. And I know it wasn't like really robust food, but like that was okay because I was just, I was so excited to see so many people and to see so many amazing outfits and everything and this that and the other thing that you know i i was eating with my eyes all of the amazing coordinates before i was really like eating for sustenance and i had like kind of a big breakfast so that helps um so yeah everyone looked amazing like i i don't know i have no other words for how good everyone looked so i'm really glad 30 minutes longer than expected for us to actually get in they had a delay so it did take us some time to actually get into the venue so we were all just like lining up around the block to the entrance to the grand hall and cars kept stopping like what the fuck is going on and we're like don't worry about it it's a fashion convention don't worry about it so everyone was great i got to get some pictures with all of us girls who rode from michigan we all cried a little bit, I think, when uh, Suzanne kind of did a little speech at the end, just, like, thanking everyone for coming. Um, I'm hoping to see her at the after party and just give her a hug and just thank her for, you know, persevering and putting this event on every year and, and making it grow and taking it as far as they could. I wish Meta could have come. That would have been banger. But, you know, you gotta, you gotta do what you gotta do. It's 12.50 central time, so it's like 2 a.m. Eastern time. Uh, we, we we just walked uphill for like five blocks. It's fine. I thought this was a plain state, but there's hills. Um, we just got back from the after-after party. And I'm not kidding. Like, we went, the after party was at Parlor, which was this really cool bar with, it was like, if someone put a bar in a mall food court, so there was multiple little tiny kitchens, or like the Mitsuwa Marketplace food court, but a bar as well, which was tits. So I got a Korean meat and rice bowl, which was amazing, uh, from Sura. And sorry, oh my God, still out of breath. We just got back. Um, and so we got drunk. I don't know how we didn't get kicked out. Um, and then we went to Uptown, which was a barcade. So it's one of those, it's got Tetris and shit in it. So, um, and then we walked back and I am very sweaty. But, all right, props to Juvia for this berries palette. Because it, it hung on for dear life. Um, I'm going to shower and go to bed. I am very tired. Oh. Uh. Oh, after the tea party, um, we went to the after party at a place called Parlor, which was really cool. 
um, uh, I had some Korean and a lot of cider and um, we screamed the house down just you know just 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 girls being girls having a good time um then we they closed at 10 who closes at 10 on a Sunday god fearing folk I guess I don't know um so then we went to barcade uh which it's not called barcade uh, up down but it, it is a barcade so it's it's one of those um where it there's uh they were playing terminator on the tv and uh so they had a, a, a arcade cabinets all over so they had tetris and street fighter too because if you open an arcade or a barcade uh you are legally required to have at least one of those i didn't play any games because i didn't have any quarters and emma from the lolita collective was buying me beers which was which was awesome the peach cider i had was actually really fucking good i don't we talked a lot and that was it was mostly screaming like we despite the fact it was like 90 goddamn degrees out in the middle of the fucking night we were outside uh on our way to the up down we ended up coming across just this random dude who was like ah i'm meeting my friends it's my 31st birthday where are you guys going we were like oh we're going to the up down he was like have a great time and we were like we will have a happy birthday it's a positive stranger interaction which is always good we were not in the whole heat at this point. I was wearing my triple fortune skirt, but uh, there was at least one girl who was at the after after party who was still in Wonder Queen and like a pigtail wig. I don't know how the fuck I was like, I, I'm i not on your level at all, sis. So then we finally got home at like, um, we got back to the Airbnb at like one and then had to shower and wash my face um and then I think I finally went to bed at 2.30 let me correct myself I laid down at 2.30 I don't know if I slept like I just kept getting sweaty and I kept checking my phone and don't, don't check your phone if you're trying to sleep I was just laying there I really don't know how if I if I slept at all. Um, oh my god, oh, I'm 35. I can't do this anymore. So I laid down at 2:30. Decided my room was too warm, like I wasn't getting enough airflow. So then I decided to go and lay down. Um, on the couches in the living room where there's more open space at like 5 30 uh and then one of the girls staying with us rachel was still out partying because she's young and she rolled in at like 6 a.m and i was still awake so i was able to be like young lady do you know what time it is it is past your like just giving her shit. I don't care. She's grown adult. She can do what she wants. Um, and then Rachel just woke up after sleeping for an hour or two, and uh, B Dubs is gone. She went. She went to make the eight-hour drive back to Wisconsin. Ugh. And so now, supposedly we're going out to get breakfast with uh, Prince Blackheart, which I oh I could absolutely. Fuck up some hash browns right now. I took some pictures, which is always a good move. And now I'm really tired, and I'm hoping to get some some food. And <sighs> and our flight leaves at 2 p.m. and we'll be back in Detroit at five. And then it's an hour drive to Rachel's, and that's an hour drive for me to get home. So I'll get home around like. 7.30 and then I'm going to bed so I'm gonna go 
nag Rachel and see when we're going to go get breakfast because we have to be out at 11. I almost forgot. Thank you, Tara, for buying us cheese pizza <laughs> in the middle of the night. And, like, <sighs> I needed the cheese pizza. Oh my god, I feel rough. Just believe. Yes,